throughout the course of ugh, throughout the course of this week, I'm going to go to various coffee shops throughout Montreal and test their coffee to determine who has the best coffee in the city. My initial plan was to do this all in one day, hit 10 coffee shops one after the other like a pub crawl except for cafes. Hey, hey. who are these guys? Who's this little pooch? Hello, <laughs> Except good, I read that a thousand milligrams of caffeine in a day can kill you. It can kill you. It's Did you know that? It can. It's Same in London. It's Gentlemen, true. let's just make sure that everyone knows I have no idea who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. So instead, I'm going to do two coffee shops a day for five or seven days. I'm going to order the same thing at each coffee shop. Cappuccino with two sugars. That way I'll have a uniform, consistent method of comparison. Let's get it started. I love you. I love you. We are starting at Parma Cafe. Looks good, it looks good. Two sugars. I already put one in. You put one in already? Yeah, the coffee's pretty strong. Yeah. <laughs> Dogs love. I'm gonna describe the flavors as they tantalate my taste buds. <laughs> Sweet. Smooth. Robust. No bitter aftertaste. This is delicious. I'm going to give this one four thumbs up. Woo four thumbs. My lowest rating ever. Hey Marion, I didn't see you here. How you doing? <laughs> you, no, you're out of the frame now. Come down. What do you think? On a scale of 1 to 10. Too much sugar. <laughs> On to the next. Thank you very much. And this afternoon we are at Cafe Gentili. Trying out their cappuccino. Look at this beautiful design. <laughs> beautiful. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The foam is smooth. Did you notice it? Look at that. Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, no, come on in. So long as you don't mind being on the internet. The coffee, it could be hotter. It is smooth, sweet, bold. You too. <laughs> See you later. Not bitter. What do you think? It's delicious. He puts in too much sugar. Gentili is getting four thumbs up also. Put in. <laughs> On to the next. Today we're at Cafe Olimpico in Mile End. This is a strong cappuccino. Hot. I'm doing a uh, coffee review for my blog. <laughs> Delicious. Full flavored. Not bitter either. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and give this one four thumbs up as well. On to the next. I'm breaking a rule here. I'm doing back to back. Olympico is just a hundred yards down the street. I don't know when I'm gonna come back up to this part of the neighborhood again. And I found parking, so I'm not giving up that spot while I'm here. Social club, coffee, cappuccino, two sugars.
froth is delicious. It's a little more diluted than the other cappuccinos. Makes it a bigger cup. Temperature is good. Smoky, peaty. A hint of asparagus. I'm joking. He did their so well, so. Delicious. Four thumbs up, eight and a half on ten. Well, we're done with coffee for the day. On to the next. Um, I think they think I'm Italian. I don't speak Italian. You don't mind being in the video? No. <laughs> Cafe Creme. This place was hipster before it was hipster. This gets too picky. This one gets five thumbs up and a 9.25 on 10. Four and a half thumbs up. West Coast. Sorry, West Coast. West Mountain, West Mountain. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Thus far, they've all been great. My favorite so far. Okay, go. is called siphon coffee so this is not a cappuccino the experiment is gonna be sort of off the that machine that you saw with like the bottle of glass it was heated by gas underneath it boiled the water up through a little pressure chamber into the top where they then mixed in the coffee stirred it around turned the heat off the gas heating and then it eventually cooled down and contracted through the through the thingy into the little thingy on the bottom where they poured it into the cup. This is actually totally delicious, but not a cappuccino. It's nutty, it's smooth, it's a little bitter. Let's go. Back home. On to the next one. Uh, right now we're using 49 parallel old school. Old school. Look at that. Look at that beautiful pattern. It's gonna break my heart to destroy it. Destroy it. Putting patterns in cappuccino foam is like doing your taxes on your deathbed. <laughs> This is the most hipster coffee we've had in this adventure thus far. It has a distinct flavor to it. Bold, nutty. Citrusy. Citrusy. This is good, this is very good. This might be my favorite one so far. This is amazing. No, it has a stronger flavor. It has a stronger flavor than a normal coffee. On to the next. Very dark because as part of this out of necessity we're going to get a McDonald's cappuccino because we're in Anjou which technically is not part of Montreal is it part of Montreal we need coffee and I thought we were gonna be able to find a nice coffee shop or a boutique coffee shop but we can't and we still need coffee so we're going you gotta, you gotta tap on. can you have a drink you're going to a birthday party guys 
McDonald's cappuccino. Oh my goodness. McDonald's, I've never been to Bonjour, bienvenue chez McDonald's. Oui, bonjour. Um, Est-ce qu'on peut avoir deux cappuccinos, s'il vous plaît? Uh, what? Deux, deux cappuccinos? <laughs> um, two cappuccinos. <laughs> okay, so it seems that their uh, microphones <laughs> are from the Cold War era. Service. They're very friendly. Now, I'm a fair man, and I'm going to give a fair Dad, assessment. It, it, get quiet back there! I'm I don't know what unit of sugars were the two units that were put into this. <laughs> it was not two packets of sugar. This just tastes like coffee. It is not bad. It's certainly not 105 degrees. I thought I was going to buy at least a lawsuit. McDonald's seems to have learned from the last lawsuit. For those of you who don't know, an old woman driving with coffee between her legs spilt the coffee on her legs when she stopped at a red light and sued McDonald's. True story. It's gritty. It's gritty. It has the caffeine and the sugar I need to keep me going. It's not that it's bad. It's definitely not boutique and it's definitely not standard. Okay, on to the next. We are at the St. Henry coffee shop, Brûlerie St. Henry, or St. Henry. I don't actually see the words Brûlerie, which is French for coffee shop. St. Henry coffee, last cappuccino of this montage. She put a heart in my coffee. This means. Um, this is the strongest by far of all of them. I've ruined the heart, unfortunately, because Viva Fry is a heartbreaker. <laughs> Look at him. What am I doing to him? This is this is the final one in our week of coffee. This is delicious. It's by far the strongest coffee we've had all week. It's strong. And in flavor, not in, I don't know what the caffeine. Not to be mean, McDonald's was definitely my least favorite. The standard was definitely my favorite and all the rest are just great coffees. It depends on your preference. If you like strong versus smoother. And we're out. Of peace out.